Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the Friday night. It's going to be 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football. Six box, half case, random team break number four. That's the second half of the case that we popped open a couple nights ago. And there's an early bird special here. The first 18 spots in this break has a chance to win a bonus spot. So there are the first 18 right here from Sal down to Will. Thank you very much everyone for getting in. Name on top gets the bonus spot. The early bird gets the worm after eight times. Two and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good luck. Eighth and final time after eight. It's going to be Patricia. Patricia Birch, you are the early bird. Has caught the delicious worm. All right, so thank you for getting in early. All right, let's copy all of those names there. Let's put them into this list right here. And then we'll randomize everybody's names and teams and put you together on that list right over there. Now, at the end of the break, there's another randomizer, different dice roll. I'm going to randomize everybody's names. Again, name on top, $75 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Winner take all. But that'll be at the end, different dice roll. For this, 10 times, 6 and a 4. Let's match you up with the team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got Ronald. Excuse me. Throw trying up here. Ronald down to Sal after 10. Six and a four, 10 times for the teams. All teams are in. Two, three, four, five, six. And 10th and final time. After 10, we've got Buffalo. Buffalo Bills down to my Raiders. All right, Ronald with the Bills, Chris with the Chiefs, TJ Leonard with the Falcons, David Baker with the Steelers, Jeremy with the Bucks, Sean with the Bears, Patricia with the Saints, Mark with the Jags, Allen with the Giants, Andy with the Ravens, Sean with the Texans, Patricia, your early bird spot, Cowboys, Jason Brown with the Vikings, Sean with the Lions, TJ with the Browns, Chris with the Rams, Mark with the Jets, Jeff with the Dolphins, Derek with the Bengals, Stephen K with the Seahawks, Paul with the Niners. Will with the Broncos, Sal with the Chargers, Stephen K with the Titans, Bradley with the Eagles, David with the Cardinals, Jason with the Colts, Stephen K with the Packers, Patricia with the uh, Patriots, Last Spot Mojo, Derek, Panthers for you, and you have the Redskins, and Sal, you got my Raiders. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And I'll pause the video and give everybody a few moments for trades. Atlanta and Cleveland are for trade, by the way. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. Guess what? There was a trade. Sal and TJ Leonard made a trade. Falcons for Chargers. So Atlanta for LAC confirmed. So Sal, you now have... The Falcons, and we'll put a T next to there for trade. And TJ Leonard, you now have the Chargers. We'll put a T next to the Chargers. So we know uh, that it was part of a trade. That way people watching at home can also see, hey, who's going to draw first blood in this trade? Will the trades even out? Or would, will both guys get skunked? Who knows? We'll find out over the next 30 minutes or so. All right, so Jason Jaspi looked like Mark these four, so you know that they're all from the same case. So let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. One autograph per box and a lot of fun parallels. Get all these packs out of here carefully. 
There we go. Here is the final printout right here. Random Team 4 on the 3rd. On Saturday? Today's not. Have I been writing Saturday on all of these? No, that's the only one. What the hell's wrong with me? Unbelievable. Well, there you go. Random Team 4 on a Friday, the 3rd. There's everyone. There's the final printout, hot off the presses. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> Just a quick little half case break. Jeff Goldhaber. Well, I guess it is Saturday for you guys. For anyone on in Massachusetts on the East Coast, maybe Central Time. No, Central Time's not quite Saturday yet. Jeff, uh, since you're in Massachusetts, what is the feeling around town? Our fans, like, what's what's the like what's local sports talk radio all on about? What are they banging on about? Or is it uh, is are Patriots fans nervous about the matchup? Are they confident? Overconfident? What's the what's the vibe from out there? Tennessee at Foxborough tomorrow. Oh, it's all about where Brady will be next season, so not a lot of game talk, huh? All right. Box number one, good luck. Two out of 35, Travis Homer is your autograph. That will be for the Seahawks. That's going to go to Stephen Kendrick. Two out of 35. Is, is this a year that Josh McDaniels finally, finally leaves? Again, I guess, but... He was, he's been in such, so, such high demand over the last year or two. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes to 199. Tara McLaurin, rated rookie, hollow for the Redskins. Easton Stick, rated rookie to 299 for the Chargers. That's where TJ Leonard got the charge in a trade. We got Will Greer. Luke Keekley to 99. And Jeff Goldhaber not confident about tomorrow. Well, I did. Ha I do have a little financial interest in the Titans tomorrow. Now I wouldn't be surprised if this guy turns back the clock and does something amazing like they usually do in the playoffs. But I feel like if you have, if you're putting financial interest on anybody, it's probably the Titans or nobody, right? There's Haskins to 199. It's either Titans or no bet. Is AJ Green hollow? Because you don't, you never know though. This guy. There's Quinn and Williams to 150. Box. No, no, no. It's it's like it's like uh, lunch money. Lunch money. Nothing huge. Nothing huge. I do have some fun. Uh, let's go specifically to the. Titans, Patriots. I do have some fun first TD of the game props that I put like lotto scratcher monies on. 
and I, I, I went through all of the teams on profootballreference.com, all the, all the playoff teams playing tomorrow and Sunday, and looked at their first touchdowns that they scored this season in 2019, their touchdown log. And using that bit of information and just using some gut instincts, I put, you know, some, some, some scratcher money on the following, the following people. First touchdown of the game prop. Jonu Smith, first TD of the game at plus 1,600. Ryan Tannehill, first TD of the game, plus 2,500. He's had some rushing touchdowns as their first TD for, for Tennessee, believe it or not. The Tennessee defense, first touchdown, plus 2,200. So that's 22 to 1. Yeah, I, I also selected James White, first TD, but he was at plus 1,000. That seemed like a little, little... And I tried to pick anything that was at least 10 to 1 or over. Jacoby Myers, this was my long shot. Jacoby Myers, 33 to 1. All right, and I took New England defense, 18 to 1. But I thought, I thought Jacoby Myers could surprise some people, and he'll just kind of pop out of nowhere. There's the Sean Watson hollow. And then break off like a 45-yard run for a touchdown. Devin Bush. Hollow. What makes it tricky, though, first touchdown of the game, not first touchdown for that team. Julio Jones, 99. Adam Thielen, to 299. His health, I think, would be big key for the Vikings want to be successful. On Sunday, there's T.J. Watt, Silver. Fans of the game, Rob Riggle, Kansas City. We'll get that one. Jay Sternberger to 299. Cleland Furl, my Raiders, hollow. I'm not seeing the auto yet. I think it's coming up. There it is. Rodney Anderson, 62 out of 99. Rookie hollow. Going to the Bengals, Derek Slavic to the Bengals. There's Nikhil Harry to 150 for the Patriots. Jarrett Stidham to 199. Is Jarrett Stidham the answer post? Brady, whenever that may be. I have a feeling Brady's going to stay. I have a feeling at the end of the day, they'll get it done. I think Robert Kraft will be like, yeah, Brady's going to end his career as a Patriot. We'll give him a, we'll give him a few more years. Yeah, Bob Kraft will give him whatever he wants, right? I would think so. Now, that, that might not make, make Belichick very happy. I don't think Belichick liked that he had to move Garoppolo, however that situation went down. I think he, they, I think you guys definitely missed out on Lamar Jackson. Um, but... Uh, and this might be the year they lose Josh McDaniel, so so they may keep Brady, but I think it'll be uh, it'll be tough. Yes, even that. There you go, Sean, TJ. Got to work. Got to work in the massage jokes.
Alright, next box. Here we go. Justin Tucker to 29. Jeff Goldhaber saying... If he were to go anywhere else, he'd be a team with everything but a QB. That's just a QB away of winning it all. Yeah, he's not going to go to any dumpster fires. Brady won't. No, I agree. So what teams are a QB away? I guess what's the speculation? There's DeAndre Hopkins, hollow. Yeah, Todd saying maybe, maybe the Bears. There's Deshaun Watson to 199. They could be, they could be a QB away. There's Sean Humphrey bunting, hollow. That will pass the bunting. The 299, Juwan Winfrey. Yeah, Bears have a pretty strong defense. But they just need a little extra offense just to stay on the field a little bit longer, try to score some points for them, keep them fresh throughout the game. They could lock teams down. Sam Darnold. Joe Montana, MVP, Hyper. Do the Bears have the offensive line to keep Brady upright, though? There's Larry Fitzgerald to 150. Rock Yasin, one out of five. Green auto for Jason Brown and the Colts. Nice. Jason Brown. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. All right, halfway through this half case break, second half. Another 15, 20 minutes to go in this one. You don't think Giselle wants to live in Chicago? Chicago is a pretty fashionable town, though. I don't know actually what she intends to do or what she does business wise, but Second City. It's got a big fashion scene there, a lot, a lot of business that she could conduct there in Chicago. I mean, it can't be that much colder than New England, right? All right. Well, what are warm weather teams that uh, what are warm weather teams that are quarterback away? I kind of want to see, uh, I mean, I don't know if this would even make sense, but wouldn't you kind of want to see Tom Brady in Tampa Bay? Just slinging it to Mike Evans and, and Chris Godwin and OJ Howard and Cameron Brait. A lot of big pass catchers down there for Tom Brady. A lot of yak guys on there, yards after catch guys. That'll make Tom Brady look really good. Let me just shore up that defense a little bit. Uh-oh. You know, not this guy. I, I mean, Josh Allen to 299. LJ Collier to 150. There's Drew Brees. Drew Brees and Tom Brady a couple times a year. Juwan Williams. Alize Mack to two ninety nine for the Saints. Honey, 
That's the 25. Champ is here. Tony Pollard, 17 out of 25 for the Cowboys. Patricia, that early bird spot. Nice. Sean's wondering if Tom Brady and Giselle have separate beds. It's possible. Bunk bed, says TJ Leonard. Who do you think has top bunk? TJ says Tom gets the top bunk. Jamal Adams. Will Greer. Alshon Jeffrey. Vaughn Miller. Um, I've never been in a bunk bed situation. What is the better side? The top side or, or the bottom side? You want the bottom one, right? So you can get in and out of bed easily? At night? In the morning? I'm not sure what the advantages of the top or the bottom would be. What does everyone prefer in their bunk situation? Next box. That's right, she wants. It's 2020, Sean. Why discriminate tops versus bottoms? Right, it's 2020. But sometimes there there's a debate on 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 bunks. I don't understand it because I've never been in a bunk situation. TJ Leonard says the top bunk when he was younger. Now I'm old, so the floor works. <laughs> the top bunk kind of scary. What if there's earthquakes and you fall out of the top bunk? That's a long. That's a longer way down than getting bounced out of bed in the bottom bunk. See, we got earthquakes to think about. All right, second to last box. We got Joey Bosa hollow. Oh, good point. If there's an earthquake, the top could collapse upon the bottom. All right, Tyro. So maybe that's why maybe bunk beds just weren't as popular in California. Gary, I don't remember any of my buddies having bunk beds. Gary Jennings Jr., hollow for the Seahawks, and a Juwan Rinfrey, 10 out of 75. That's your autograph for the Broncos. It's going to go to Bulldog fan. We'll come stop. Tyro Williams, hollow. Jeffrey Simons to 99 for the Titans. Cleveland Farrell Hollow. No, pick your team five for contenders will be tomorrow, Rory. This will this break will bring us to the end of the night. Ooh, in a nice downtown, Jared Goff. Rams. That's gonna be four. Chris, Chris G with that. Yeah, 
No fan to 299. Jalen Hurd, you heard, to 199. Jameis Winston to 299. I sure did, Rory. We were breaking nonstop all day. We were on early today, too. The team was on early. As soon as I got on camera, we were breaking nonstop. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Uh-oh. The early guy didn't get. Uh, the late guy got you something. Two somethings. In one case, Rory, if I recall. That one dude. They do actually. I, I'll if this was like NT or if these were like shorter breaks. Yeah, I, I, I would probably have the stamina to to do a few more quick breaks, but the prospect of doing another hour long break is not interesting to me <laughs> until tomorrow. You know what's gonna happen, Rory? Is that you're gonna everyone's gonna disappear. They're just gonna. They're just gonna. They're just gonna watch the recap later. Rory, you'll just check in at box eleven and be like, "Oh, did I get anything?" And be like, "Where were you during this whole break? Not keeping me company. Just be all by myself. <laughs> Talking to myself. All right, last box. Everyone would ditch me. Kelvin Harmon." Darius Leonard to 199. Drew Brees to 299. 13 out of 50. DeAndre Baker is your last autograph. You won't, Rory. Come on. You won't. Try me. But then I'm going to add, I'm going to. I'm going to call out secret words you have to put into the chat to make sure you're listening every five minutes. And the first one you don't respond in, pausing the stream, we'll do it, we'll finish it tomorrow, part two of the next day. Christian Wilkins to 299. Damien Harris, hollow. Gary Jennings to 150. Raquel Armstead to 199. For the Jaguars. The speedy Tyreek Hill to 299. And any other parallels? Aaron Rodgers hollow. Fans of the game, Rod Riggle for Kansas City. And that, my friends, is that Ty Johnson at the end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Random Team Break number four, 2019 Panini Donners Optic Football on a Friday. This is Joe, and I'll break more with you tomorrow. Good night.